Hello, hello, Shoggoth Unknown here. Welcome to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, or Intermission. So, a little bit of a brief introduction here. I love Final Fantasy VII. It's one of my favorite games of all time. And I was super excited for VII Remake when it came out. In fact, I even had a copy a couple days early, just thanks to the way the pre-orders and COVID, I guess, everything worked out strangely. And uh, wow, I, I loved it. I 100%ed the game and that was it. I didn't expect any DLC or anything, but uh, turns out we got Intergrade. And I was definitely interested in it, but I could have been wrong, but I was under the impression that it was only PlayStation 5 or maybe I had to like buy it on PlayStation 4. And at that point, I was more interested in waiting on a PC release for the game than anything else. So I did. And... This game came out on PC in December of 2021. I played through Remake on stream, but I did not actually touch the Intergrade content. So that's sad. <laughs> but despite that, I said that I was probably going to play it at some point, And I, I, I kind of feel bad that I never got around to it because I'm actually really interested in it. So in the original game, Yuffie has a pretty minor role, given that she is an optional character. In, you know, modern game development, 2022, you can't really make a AAA game like Final Fantasy VII Remake, Rebirth, and whatever the third title is going to be, you can't make a game like that and have optional characters because the amount of time and resources and effort that goes into making a character in a game like this and integrating them into the story, it's too much to justify having optional characters. For instance, the level of detail, the high quality character models and animations, the voice acting, all of that goes to waste if a large percentage of your player base may never experience it. And when you get into the kind of highly choreographed, if you will, scenes in the game, you would have to completely rewrite the scenes with the optional characters missing or included, depending on which ones you had and didn't have. That was a lot easier back in the day when the animations were very simple and rudimentary and the dialogue was nothing but text on the screen. So my assumption here is that this DLC content is going to provide the context to help, again, integrate Yuffie into the story a little more heavily because we know she can't be optional. So we have to see how they're going to integrate her into the story. And I think that's what we're going to get here. At least that's my assumption going in. So I actually am really interested in seeing how this plays out. I've tried to avoid as much media as possible. I pretty much anytime something shows up with it, I, I click away, I, you know, I, I ignore it. But rather than continuing to do that, let's go ahead and actually just check this out and, and dive right into it. What do I do? New game? Oh, there we are. Intermission. So I believe the version of the game is called Intergrade, but the scenario, if you will, the DLC itself is Intermission. Are there any interesting options here? Are they the same? I don't think I will need to mess with anything for the moment. So let's get right onto it. That's her theme song, right? Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar.
you caught this, Yuffie? <clears throat> My name is Yuffie, materia hunter and elite special forces operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Okay, Sector 7 slums. Gotta get used to the controls again, it's been a while. But... Not bad, not bad. I was gonna ask who she was talking to, but it seems like she was expecting Avalanche members to be here. And clearly they're not. <laughs> it's like, does she just talk out loud everywhere she goes? Um, additionally, that was a, quite a fall. Just gonna say. <laughs> it's quite a fall. Oh, they're also playing heavily into the Avalanche Wu Tai um, tie in. They kind of talked a little bit about that before. I think that's been rumored for a long time. Um, but they're really playing into that now. Yuffie's strengths. Yuffie can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press X to strike a foe with her throwing star. Hold X to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Okay. Precision defense. Guarding just before an enemy lands a hit will greatly reduce the damage Yuffie takes. Oh, I gotta hit that. Okay. Alright, there we are. So I'm gonna hold it. Oh, okay. Then we can do this. Beautiful. I have no idea what this mode is. Throw and retrieve. Interesting. Cool. Okay, by pressing Y, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at a target. Press X while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press Y again. So I wonder if that's why she's wearing a Moogle outfit. That is one thing I'd seen because they showed it in like virtually every advertisement or whatever. Um, I was curious, but uh, I guess it's some kind of agreement with Avalanche that, I don't know, because she seemed to be wanting to meet up with somebody in a Moogle suit. So maybe there's something to that. Uh, by pressing Y, Yuffie's capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. Try destroying multiple at once by giving Yuffie the perfect vantage point. Cool. I was going to say, I have no idea how they throw. Okay, you can't just throw at any time. Like, I can't... I'm pressing Y right now. So those boxes don't count yet. Sweet. Oh. 
Damn it. Stupid rats. You know what I haven't done is... Let's check out abilities. Buffet an enemy with blows and all subsequent attacks deal increased damage. Create a gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them toward you. Oh, elemental ninjutsu. The ability Elemental Ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuffie's X attack while her weapon is away. Though it deals non elemental damage at first, pressing directions while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Use Elemental Ninjutsu to exploit your enemy's weaknesses and pound them into submission. Assess. Yeah, we know what that does. Let's do Assess. We can't assess all. But I actually want to go ahead and do that. I don't know if there's going to be any um, bonus to doing it. The P8's wind. Wind. Damn it. Actually, I should have seen if we had magic for that. Yeah, we did. That's fine. Alright, let's put out wind. Oh yeah, he hates it. And there we have it. I like this music. Hello. One of the clone dudes. Eleven. No palm. You actually get to walk around them? That's different. I don't think we've had free control around one of these dudes ever. Interesting. Just trying to get a look at his face and stuff. Oh. Yuffie's weapon can be used to strike more than just crates. Try tossing it at hard to reach objects such as distant switches. This is similar to the mechanic we already had with um, the grappling hooks. This is already a lot different than I expected. I don't really know what I expected. I don't. I think I really had expectations. This definitely wouldn't have been in line with them. Oh yeah, I was like, wait a minute. You're one of those guys. I know you. That spells. So 
we do that, then we throw. Boom. Not bad. <laughs> it's not just Barrett, huh? Got someone else doing it. I can throw. What is it doing? Ah, there's an elevator down there. So there's the Moogle. So if we're following Moogles, this seems to be the optional route. Give me that. Watch it be a potion. Make up for what I spent. <laughs> Called it. We're gonna get a fight, aren't we? HP up. Oh, we've got some interesting stuff here. Some max stuff. Okay. What level are we? We're 25. So, I, this is a point to mention, I have no idea how long this is actually going to be. Because I know it's not going to be a full-length deal, like the main game, but... What kind of arc are we going to have? Like, how much of a story is this going to tell? I mean, they do call it the slums for a reason, Yuffie. Power wrist guards. Materia and equipment. Oh, I have to select Yuffie. There we go. No reason not to use that. I almost forgot how choppy this game gets at times. I thought it had been fixed. I believe there are mods that fix it, but... Didn't want to really mess with any of that. Oh, look, we got another clone dude over there, it looks like. And then those doggo things. It's like the camera really wanted me to to catch that. Huh? I gotta do something. Oh, you'll do the trick. Oh, no. Yeah, if the throw and start misses, an, or an object has barred its flight path, it will automatically return to Yuffie. Time your throws carefully and make sure nothing can interrupt them. Yeah, I mean, I saw that it was obstructed a little bit too late. It's like a, a fireman's pole. Probably gonna be able to. Yeah, we could take it down. Alright. 
That guy's jumping. <laughs> I don't really care what it said. Ah, oh, damn. Tried to dodge just a hair too late. I'm worried about this other one. Oh, you got that tracking. Maybe I should block instead. That's right, bumper, yeah. Okay. Where's this guy? So, not even a thank you? Twenty. I'm curious at what point in the timeline we are. Well, one way to check is we don't seem to be missing a plate. So I think that tells us a lot of information about where we're at. Looks like we're probably going to go across, yeah. Get an optional thing and then climb back, uh, slide down. What is this? Wind. Not my favorite. But it'll do. My biggest problem with wind in this game, with the real-time battle system, the real-time 3D battle system where, you know, you don't just stand in one spot, is that wind has a delay on its cast. You cast it, it hits a spot, and then like a, a few moments later, a big burst happens. And it's not as reliable, I found. Seeing what that was. There's been some, uh... Oh wait, got something happening? No, oh, just a view. There's been some uh, suggestions that... Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is Remake Part 2. There's been suggestions that it's going to be Unreal Engine 5. I don't know if that's confirmed. I guess maybe it is. But that should be pretty exciting to see a, a really, you know, really good AAA title. Massive scale taking advantage of some of the technology. I've messed with Unreal Engine 5 a little bit. It's pretty cool stuff. But I'm more of a build-your-own-thing-from-scratch than a uh, use-an-engine kind of developer. Genova! Number 16. Do I have a beard? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I hate that they disappear when you get to a point. You can only move the camera so far, and then, yep. And then if I move it back, it's weird. It's hard to get him to reappear. This is too weird. <laughs> okay, you got this. It'd be funny if that guy commented like, "Why are you talking to yourself?" Just in a normal voice. Whoa, choppy. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the slums. This is where we, um, this gate was closed before. I wonder, was this Moogle poster always there? Did they put it in for the 
DLC. I wonder. This is where we go around with Cloud and Tifa. Huh, okay. That Ron Nexmall's gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. <sighs> I'm talking to myself. City's getting to me. No, I don't think those posters were there. But we fought that dog thing over here. And that's a notorious enemy. It kicks a lot of people's asses. I don't find it too bad until you're playing on hard mode. That looks different. Oh, MP up. The specific color of the glow looked a little special. Yeah, this is where you fight the dog thing. I forget its actual name. Just gonna do a quick sweep around this side. I have the urge to jump everywhere I move right now. Hello. Wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or? No comment? Okay. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down, okay? This must be pretty close to the Not pillar. Not for any of us if Wutai's got their claws in this. Wutai. The comment I'm going to make is this... Ninjas in. We're going to be in big trouble. Okay. The comment I want to make is... Just wish they wouldn't take it out on us. Guys, shut up. I'm trying to talk. But I want to hear what you have to say. You're going to do it too, aren't you? Maybe not. The thing I was going to say is that they're... Well, they just kind of confirmed it. We talked about bombings, and then... I was going to say... And that guy just confirmed it by talking about reactor bombings. That this must be pretty close to when the plate falls, if we're talking about bombings. Monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down. Not gonna be good for any of us if Wu Tai's got their claws in this. Is this yeah? Called it. Where she like steps on the guy. Oh, hi there. There's our palm. So, your avalanche? I'm Jija. Follow me. W wait up! So, Jija, why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. And what exactly is a W anyway? Anyone who lives where you just came from, Rakudas. think of it as a code name. Uh huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. This kid could kick your ass. Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? So why well, here we are. Ladies first. From the news, they didn't get caught. They'll turn on. And when they do, we're gonna treat them to a feast. I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting any. What? <laughs> this is cool. Getting that little tie-in. Okay, good. I was gonna say, wait a minute, is she not wounded? But no, she has a bandage on her leg. Good. I was gonna be mad if that was an inconsistency. Will you let me walk away or are you gonna force turn me around? I want that item. I can't move faster. Hey, don't want you getting lost. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
Oh, I love this music. <laughs> okay, she loves it. That doesn't look like it was comfortable, though. That's not a soft seat to jump into. Ass is gonna be sore. It's a weapon, right? The purple? Yeah. Boomerang. Better at magic, but it's worse at like everything else. Not much worse, but... Probably gonna be more focused on physical stuff anyway. If you've watched my normal playthrough of this game, you would see that. What's up, girl? These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nio. Hi. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the New Wutai Government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? You, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. But I did bring these, Wutai's famous Dachau beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. Just singular beans for everybody. <laughs> Have a bean. Oh, what? Uh, can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh. You ninjas are insane. <laughs> ah. Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Speaking of reeking, the sulfur smell was a nice touch because I believe Tifa mentioned that, right? The, the, well, rotten egg, not sulfur, but it's the same thing, right? I believe Tifa mentioned that in the, in Remake, when you're talking about the water filters, you can almost not smell the, uh, the rotten eggs or whatever. <laughs> hey, what's up, girl? You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see... So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh, yeah. You should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. All right, let's talk to the other one first. What was his name? Polk or something? Yeah, Polk. Want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Uh, well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now. Be my guest then. Go get killed. Uh, harsh. 
If you haven't introduced yourself to Billy Bob, you should. He's got some intel you might want to hear. Okay. Oh, we got... We got diagrams, we got maps. Hell yeah. I want to read this, but it's not really readable. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> the TV reflections. That one's a miss. Because it looks like it's an outdoor TV with a baked-in reflection. They both obviously have the same... Well, they're not exactly the same, but they probably are pulling from the same source. Just different locations. I'm just saying, what's up, girl? building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Anything else? You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. The guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Wanna try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Yeah, I was actually going to mention Chadley. Sonon's still not back? He must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see, and drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Butai's got a place like that. Our grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time. <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. So, that's interesting if there's actually a Happy Turtle here. So in Final Fantasy VII, in the Shinra building, there is, well actually there's two flyers in Midgar, one in the Shinra building and one in the Sector 5 slums, right before Aerith's place. And you have to find all of the flyers in the game, and then you're able to get uh, a reward from the actual establishment in Wutai. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? What? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Starter pack? Okay, no, it's... What? Is this just actually Fort Condor? A beginner's guide to Fort Condor. Fort Condor's a... Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and materia to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. 
You can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATB gauges and materia available to you, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly. The opposition's board and unit loadout is displayed on the right. Each unit has a weakness that can be exploited for massive damage. Therefore, keep in mind which units your opponent is using when selecting yours. You, can, you can't edit your board or units at the moment, so press A to start. Okay, but what about like... Okay, so we have Fire and Cure, they have Blizzard and Arrow. We don't have any other boards. There's actually like a Fort Condor minigame? Uh, more tutorials? When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. To win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march for- okay, yep. They'll automatically march forward and engage enemies once they've been deployed. Each unit has an ATB cost required to place it on the board. Your ATB charges, which refill over time, can be viewed at the top of the screen. This is straight up the Fort Condor song from the original game, too. This is awesome. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but... So... Move the cursor to the spot you wish to deploy a unit, then press A to begin selecting the unit you want. To change the drop location, press cancel and reselect. A unit to assign one of three roles, Vanguard, Ranged, or Defense. Pay close attention to these roles, as they determine what enemies a unit will be effective against. Vanguards are effective against Ranged, Ranged are effective against Defense, and Defense are effective against Vanguard. So we need... We need, um, Ranged. We'll put a vanguard up here. And we need a defense. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Magic attacks. Materia allows you to use powerful spells during a match. Press left, bu left bumper to select a location to cast your magic. Once you've made your decision, press A to unleash the attack. Okay, no, we're doing okay. Oh, no. Um, I need two, but I... There we are. Okay. Not yet, there we are. Get another slug ray. We need another ranged around here. This is not what I expected to be doing right now, I must say. Oh, we could do a blast ray. just a stronger variant, really. Oh, no, we're good. Let's bring in the security officer. Once we have... Let's save up a little bit of extra ATB. Bring in a guard dog. And we'll bring in a slug ray.
I really want to see this. Oh, cool. Dang. Thought we had it. We just need to get a little bit closer. Come on, guys. Bring in the security officer. Oh, we got him. Okay. That's cool. Slight remix of the classic victory theme. I mean, this is, it's just a slight arrangement, but this is like shot for shot that musically from what you'd normally hear at the end of each battle in the original. I like that. So we have a sentry gun prototype defense and we have a condor coin. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Word is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever! Bring it on! Heli Trooper Vanguard obtained the Sorcerer Board. Do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? I was gonna talk to this bro again. Well, we'll talk to you. Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Um, not right now. Oh, you sure? What about you? Yeesh. Those the chow beans are really something else. I think I broke a tooth. Getting here must have been quite a journey. All right, yeah. Let's see what we can find. 